Hey guys, John here. You're watching AI Attic. Today, I'm in Scotts Valley, California at the Tesla Superchargers, which has a magic dock. And today, I'm also here with the EV base CCS adapter to NACS. So with this, we're gonna see if we can charge my Tesla Model 3 using Tesla Supercharger, but through magic dock and see how efficient that can be. I know, right? Why not? So with that, let's begin. In order to start this process, we're gonna have to go into the iPhone app for Tesla. Now that I'm in the iPhone app, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to the top right and then click on charge your other EV. When I click on that, it should give me the locations of other EV chargers, which is where I am, Scotts Valley. I'll go ahead and click on that and it says 10 of 16 stalls available. The fees here are gonna be 43 cents per kilowatt hour, where I will say through the Tesla itself, it's 35 cents. But because we're doing Magic Dock, it is inflated to 43 cents. You can buy a subscription service for it. I believe that's $12 a month. But since we're only doing one test, we're gonna go ahead and pay that raised 43 cent rate. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and click charge here because that's where I am, Scotts Valley. And it's asking me, get started, locate the post number. So we are at post 2B. Okay, I've done that. Start with your magic charger dock and complete charging. So these are the little instructions. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select 2B and click start charging. It's waiting for a second. Now it says unlock adapter and plug in. Carlos, come here, look at this. So what we can do is now, when we unplug this, we can just pull this, we should be able to just pull this out. Let's go ahead and say it says press and, oh, I have to press and hold it for two seconds. That was user error. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. And there it goes, it came right out. Very nifty, very easy. So let me go ahead and put these items down. We have our EV base CCS charger adapter here. We're gonna go ahead and connect that in. I know, it looks a little funky, but it's gonna get the job done. We're gonna come over here to the charger and we'll just plug that baby right on in. Now, if you look in the screen, we have the camera inside the car and it should begin to say start charging here. And there it goes, it says it's supercharging and it's gonna take 30 minutes left. Stay tuned, because now we're gonna see what the charging curves looks like with the Magic Dock and adapter plugged in. So it's been about 10 minutes of charging. So now I got my laser gun here that's gonna tell us the temperature of the chargers. So with that, let's see what they are. So first things we're gonna check is the adapter. The adapter right now is at 71, 72 degrees. Now if we come over here to the Magic Dock, 89. Now if we come over to the Tesla charger, the Tesla charger is also way hotter at 91. It's gonna change independent on where you, we put it on there, but it does look, oh, 96 for a second there on the Tesla charger. Very, very interesting. We'll retest this towards the end. All right, it's now been 20 minutes of charging. The car is at about 60% and we're still at 95 kilowatts being pulled from the charger. So let's go ahead and test the EV base charger, which again, you get 15% off if you use our code down in, in the description. 75 degrees here. Now, if we go to the Magic Dock connector, okay, about 90, about 90, so higher. Let's go to the Tesla connector. Let's go to the top of it. So we're about 70, oh, there we go. About 76, maybe 80 on that charger. We're much higher on the Magic Dock itself at about 83. It's now been another five minutes of charging and the Tesla has reached 80% state of charge. So I went ahead and graphed the charging curve using Tesla Magic Dock and the EV Base CCS adapter. The charging test began with the Tesla at 10% state of charge. Right away, the curve quickly peaks to 250 kilowatts before experiencing a steady stream downwards. At the conclusion of our test, the Tesla was still pulling 55 kilowatts with 80% state of charge. I'm also happy to report the total charge time took 26 minutes, despite the screen originally claiming a longer 30 minute estimated charge time. What's even more impressive is that I did this while using both Magic Dock and the EV base adapter. So now our charging session has completed. It's now it's time to take out all this and put it back in the supercharger. We're gonna hold down the Tesla button first and we're gonna pull out the EV base adapter. Once we do that, we're gonna hold this button down and we can take out the adapter. Now we have the Tesla and the Magic Dock. We're gonna go ahead and slide that right into the charger and just like that, you're done. And don't forget, if you wanna get this EV base charging adapter from CCS to NCIS, the link is now in the description. You do get 15% off. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. And if you liked it, do feel free to like, subscribe, or share it with your friends. See you next time. Goodbye.